keep looking at what the central bank is saying. I believe that there should be good synergy between either the Ministry of Budget and Planning and Finance and what the central bank is doing. So that you don't move monetary policy inside A while fiscal policy is going inside B and there's no synergy, there's no harmony because at the end of the day, you will not achieve the results both on the fiscal side and on the monetary policy side. So we need that big synergy and I'm suggesting that we go more Nigerians into that economic team. I'm not saying there's no economic team, but you draw the team by what results are producing. Yes, there is a team. What results are they producing? How are they responding to all these challenges? We see simply what appears to be timid responses, which is not answering the question that's on the table. There are a lot of very good Nigerians who are very knowledgeable in this sector and who have proven themselves over the years. Get them in. Let's use our first 11. You cannot be going to a match where you meet the likes of Ronaldo and Messi and you refuse to take your first 11 to the match. That first 11, you are not even sure they can withstand their firepower. Then you take your third 11. You should go there with a, a basket so that you can carry as many goals as possible to come back. So as far as I'm concerned today, the economic team needs to be rigid. And then we must see a consistent policy direction. And until we see that, we are going to be digging deeper into the whole instead of climbing out. Mm -hmm. well, Mr. Emperor, tell us something quickly, please. And then it's about the argument about constituting an economic team. And I heard the Minister of Finance, Kenya Adoshi, talk about the fact that it doesn't necessarily have to be that they have an economic team with some big names like the past and uh, uh, immediate administration have done. Uh, tell us the much ado about the team or the policy. What is more important, an economic policy or an economic team or both? And why is it inevitable to have uh, an economic team? If who, who, who is going to design the economic policy if you don't bring in square pegs to be in square holes. Who is going to design those policies? You know, we're, we're, we're in serious crisis. We need to take out of the box. We need bold and imaginative and visionary ideas. So if you simply bring people who are learning on the job, who have never done anything in that sector before, so maybe simply because the president has a prerogative to appoint, so he puts them there. Of course, you continue getting the results you are getting. We have people who are experienced. I don't need to call names. We know them. Some of them are even members of the ruling party. They were all left out. Nobody is talking to them. And, and you simply think that you need to learn on the job at a time of recession. You simply need to start running helter skelter instead of getting tested hands to work. So we, we need an like a, a rigid economic team. And then they will craft a very visionary and imaginative economic policy, which will be all encompassing and carry every Nigeria, every sector, every part, every segment, and give them a sense of responsibility, a sense of belonging, and challenge them to contribute. You know, the important thing is to say, I know you can do this. Come along, do it for the benefit of all of us. And rather than saying, I don't care whatever qualities you have, I have the power to appoint, therefore I can appoint anybody. Appoint them, what are the results they are giving us? Let's follow the ministers out to results. Let's follow the appointees out to results. Let's hear their blueprint, let's hear their ideas. Nigeria cannot just be bogged down by simply because of the fact that one man or two was given the power to appoint and he thinks he can appoint anybody. No, no, we have grown beyond this. We have grown beyond this. We have the men and the materials to get this economy out of the woods. I pleasure. We will move back to the US and uh, get a final US report for an event this year. I remember in 2010, last month, the economic crisis. Nigeria softened the blow because we had an 